But we begin with the major shakeup to Western New York politics ignited by Congressman Brian Higgins' decision to resign early next year. This vacancy could usher in a new generation of politics in our region, and that begins with thousands of people electing a new representative for the first time in 20 years. Now, Higgins' decision will bring an end to his career representing Buffalo on Capitol Hill. He has served as the Queen City's voice in Washington since 2005. Early possibilities to take his seat include Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, and State Senator Tim Kennedy. Over the years, redistricting has changed the 26th district that Higgins represents and under new maps approved just last year. This decision will also impact neighbors in the North Towns, Niagara Falls, and up to the shores of Lake Ontario. More than 700,000 people live within its borders. And tonight, 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley turns the mic over to those who live in this district to find out their thoughts for the future. I started tracing the voices of the 26th Congressional District in the heart of Buffalo's east side. Larry Stitz owns the Golden Cup Coffee Company on Jefferson Avenue. It's going to be a loss of power for our region because, as you know, in the House or the Senate, the longer you're there, the more power you kind of have. Stitz tells me the next congressional leader in his district needs to focus on bringing back small business. Without the small businesses, where would we be? And I think that whoever goes in next should have it on their agenda to advocate for small business. I caught up with Buffalo resident Matthew Nash in the heart of the Elmwood Village. Nash tells me the next congressional leader must pay attention to inequities in the city. We're standing in a very beautiful part of Buffalo and I love it here, but um, I definitely could see a, a better redistribution for, for helping parts of the city. Now the 26th district stretches up into Niagara County, so I came here to the village of Lewiston to talk to community members. I would like somebody that has a broader experience. Kathy and Thomas Gorbasi are town of Lewiston residents. They say the next leader to represent their district needs to have a better understanding of rural communities. Someone that's more aware of what what our issues are out here, you know, employment and uh, environmental concerns. There's a huge need for medical services out here and the people are very uh, Buffalo centric and I don't know that they're or city centric. I don't think they understand the whole issue. Others like Mike from Lewiston hope in the future the Republican Party will present a candidate for this deep blue district. So what are your thoughts of Congressman Brian Higgins saying he's going to resign? Uh, he could stay another two months and uh, just uh, you know, see it out instead of having a special election. But that's what uh, I learned to expect from Democrats. But it was Judy Dowd of Williamsville who delivered a very profound response to what she wants from her next representative in Washington. Freedom, our freedom. That's what we need to keep. We can't lose it. We're a voice for the 26th Congressional District. Eileen Buckley, 7 News. All right, while neighbors in the 26th district prepare for this big change, some politicians we're already familiar with may be preparing to fill this vacancy. Yeah, we told you about the early front runners possibly considering the job. They include Buffalo's mayor, the Erie County executive, and state senator Tim Kennedy. Senior reporter Michael Wooten breaking down tonight what could happen to their jobs if they leave for Capitol Hill. The dysfunction of Congress. Once Congressman Brian Higgins officially steps down, we know the governor will have to set a date for a special election to fill the rest of Higgins' term. What we do not know is the ripple effect. It's likely that filling Higgins' vacancy will create another. This is not just an election for a new member of Congress. There are so many different people and different offices involved in this that we could be looking at it at a wholesale change in political leadership in this community that you see only once in a generation, if that. Reportedly interested in Higgins' seat are Erie County Executive Mark Polencars, Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, and State Senators Tim Kennedy and Sean Ryan. If Polencars runs and wins that special election, the charter says the county legislature 
legislature would appoint his replacement until voters elect someone to finish his term. Push out. If Brown goes to Congress, the city charter says the common council president will take over as acting mayor until the next general election, when voters will pick someone to fill the rest of Brown's term. That puts an even bigger focus on picking the next council president. That's why this is a key inter intramural election that we're going to see uh, in, in January. Finally, if either of the state senators trades Albany for Washington, it's likely that seat would remain open until the general election in November. Lots of ways for the dominoes to fall in Western New York politics. Michael Wooten, 7 News.